The thing that I love about crate digging is you never know what you're going to find. You're going to walk in there and, I mean, you're going to find some babies records. You're going to find Frampton Comes Alive. You're going to find a shitload of Chicago records. But apart from that, you just don't know. And that's why we go in there crate digging is there's going to be a whole lot of records here that I'm not interested in. But then there might be some records that I am interested in. And those records that I'm interested in, I am probably going to want to buy. And I've got money in my pocket. And so I will then, when I'm done looking around, I will buy those records. And there might be some records that I can't buy. But there will be records that I can buy. And I will buy those records. And there are going to be people that say, why do you have to own so many goddamn records? You got... 500 or so whatever it is records and you're back in the store and you're buying more and my answer to that is number one it's none of your business number two i like records i like looking at records i like listening to records i like smelling records i like putting records filing them in alphabetical order so this is a, a hobby to me but it's also something that i really do enjoy and when i'm out shopping for records i'm not buying records that i'm not gonna listen to i'm buying records that yeah i'm gonna listen to these records i'm gonna put them in alphabetical order i'm gonna pull out the sleeves from time to time i'm gonna put the records in protective sleeves but the point is my record collecting obsession is not hurting anybody except my wife and kids. I like bands that start with pretty much every letter of the alphabet. And so you have to be very methodical when you go through, when you're crate digging, because you don't want to miss that one album, that one valuable record that might be tucked in at the back of the crate that you just didn't take the time to dig through and actually find. So it really is a, a treasure hunt uh, for the most part, finding the records, going through every letter of the alphabet every single record to see if you can find one that you want to buy when i'm crate digging i am totally in a trance you might say i'm not aware of anything that's going on around me i'm not hearing other conversations i don't notice anyone around me i can't hear any background music or noise all i am focused on are the records that i'm flipping through i urinated on myself once while crate digging and i was totally oblivious I guess I just stepped right over the puddle and kept on shopping. But you have to have that tunnel vision if you're going to find those buried treasures. I'm not allowed back at that particular store, but I did get a Columbia 6i copy of Miles Davis at Newport, so it was totally worth it.